Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul. We're doing our permadeath run uh, with the No Starter Ship Challenge, the Impossible Run. So we're on episode three. We're two hours into this, so let's go another hour and see what we can find. Uh, if I remember correctly, because it's been a little bit since I've come back to this. Um, two doors. I believe we want to head in the opposite direction from that cave, so we're going to be heading that way. So... Let's go ahead and exit and start heading away. We would gather up the eggs. I know they're worth quite a bit, but I really don't want to clutter up the inventory any more than it already is. I got quite a bit of money, so let's just head this way. We want to head to the mountain because that's the only way we're going to find anything in this boat with no HUD. Oh, the HUD is on again. I forgot about that. Got to be careful of that. Uh, HUD is disabled. Okay, so you saw me do that. There we go. No HUD. Really wish it would remember. <laughs> uh, okay, I should be all right. Lots of nice creatures over here. It's plant life. I don't think it's going to give me much of anything. Gave me some units, but I have no idea because it doesn't come up on the HUD. So let's get up to this top of this mountain, and we're going to start looking in the direction that we need to. Our life support is getting a little bit low, as we are already aware. And hopefully the voices will stop soon. From our exosuit, so we don't have to deal with that anymore. There we go. Okay. And like I've said, too, we're going to gather up some resources here real soon, because we're running low on stuff. Okay, that means we're below... 25%. Let me just check that. Yep, really low. But we got plenty of oxygen, so we'll go ahead and use it. Alright, so we're up top. Let's get over to the edge over here and take a look. Maybe we'll find something. Okay, not going to use anything just yet. So that's the building we came from. Looks like some plants. Nothing special there. I don't see any other buildings from this direction. Let's go a little bit further down. Always want to have a little extra dihydrogen. I don't know how much we have. I'm going to have to check that here in just a second. Just, just talking to somebody about this particular type of run and this uh, super permadeath run, if you will, the impossible challenge. It's just, it's nerve-wracking. Uh, this is probably the hardest challenge I've ever had to do, so hopefully we come across something soon. Because the only way we're going to find anything is if we spot it in the distance from one of these mountains. And that includes wrecked ships and everything else under the sun. Or moon, in this case may be. More plants. Let's get down to the other end of this. Because I think I want to keep those planets on my left. <clears throat> so hopefully that'll work. Alright, how are we looking over here? Just keep expecting to see something, you know? You know, it's funny. Maybe you folks have seen stuff and I haven't. Alright, we're going to get up to that promontory up there. And actually this one. Because that's the direction we want to head. We want to head away from this, so. Then we'll go to the next... We'll go to the next place after this. Probably that mountain range over there. And we'll see what we can find. And I literally do not see anything. So, what do we have in our inventory? We've got plenty of dihydrogen now. Let's make a couple more. There we go. We got a little bit of carbon. We've got more 
that. We've got plenty of oxygen. Any batteries? We've got plenty of batteries. Okay. Well, okay, let's head to the next mountain range. Again, I'm not seeing anything. There are some, you know... There's some dells here and there, some little valleys and stuff that we can't see, so we'll just do what we can. Down we go. There we go. Yeah, if you do it right, you know. The only good news has been that we haven't had a lot of storms or anything like that. We don't get storms while we're in this mode. Yeah, why not grab a plant while we're here? Ah, I was trying to get away from him. You okay? Yeah, we're all right. Always want to keep looking around, though. Because you never know. We Maybe we didn't see something from up there, but... We'll see something down here. The landscape doesn't lend itself very well to... Seeing a whole lot. Let's see where these guys go. If we'll be able to see them. Did that guy land? He did. Hey, we might get lucky here. If, if he pops out of the ship, we'll be able to trade. Sometimes they don't. Oh, it looks like they're not going to. Crap. Ah, this stinks. Come on, man. Seriously? Uh. Yep, just getting an error. Figures. Ah, that stinks. I was hoping I could get rid of some of this inventory. I could at least sell it to the guy. No, I don't think I could have. I think he just sells usual crap, uh, what do you call it, um, upgrades and that's it, X-Class upgrades. Though that could have come in handy too, I might have been able to get an upgrade for my exosuit. Oh, boy can haul up, can he? Not bad. Alright. Where's the plants? The planets are over there, correct? Okay. So we want to go this way. We will probably head up to that mountain as well. So we can take another look from there. There's another ship. And he just kind of vanished. Straight up. Okay. So maybe we're heading in the right direction. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Grab that while we're here. What? Oh, well, kind of backfired, I guess. There we go. Okay. You gotta listen for the signs of that, uh, your jetpack. The extra boost has run out. Okay, I need some life support. And we're going to use it this that this time because we got those on the way. And we'll get more of these. Alright. So we're going to head up to this mountain and check things out again and see if we can find anything. guys are headed that way. Okay, good. Alright. I mean, this is, this is tough, I mean, because you can't really find anything. You've got to have a building pop up right in front of you in order to be able to utilize it. Uh, 
steep enough? I think it's steep enough. Let's see what happens. Yep, good. Come on, baby. All right. Oh, whoa, okay. All right, how are we doing? Come on, move over. Thank you. Uh, use that up so I don't have to worry about it anymore. So, see anything looks like a building down there? I don't. There's our plants. We gotta head this way. Planet. Not plant. Sorry. Meant planet. My bad. Alright, where's he going? And to the right, as expected. So we're still heading in the right general direction that I want to head in. Okay. I just wish we could see something in the distance. A building or something. I mean, procedurally generated shouldn't mean impossible to find, but we'll see. What does this give us? Life support. Yeah, why not? We gotta get rid of those. That ammunition, we don't really need that either. Okay. So, planets are to my left. We want to head that way. see anything. I see nothing. Something's coming. I just don't know what, from what direction. There they are. Let's watch them for just a second. Let's see where they head. So the other one went to the right when he headed that direction. These guys I'm thinking will head to the left. There we go. See? And you guys don't think it's a science, huh? That direction. Want to head between those two mountains in the distance. So let's head that direction. Actually, they are heading that way now. Okay. Let's head that way. Come on. Thank you. All right. There we go. And those to that direction itself. Let's see if anything pops up on our scope when we get close enough to it. Because you'll see I'm not really collecting as much of anything anymore. Because my inventory is pretty much full at this point. some of that sodium on the way. It's our little quiet right now. Boink. Good. Alright. Well, these two guys are heading in the direction I think I should be going. Let's see which way they go. We can keep an eye on them long enough. Gonna head left or right? Uh, looks like straight. So let's head in this dire general direction then. Let's 
Let's head in this general direction then. We should hopefully find something in that general direction. You know? So even if we found one of those transmit stations, you know, that, that can help you find a wreck, unfortunately without our visor on it doesn't help us any because it won't show up on our visor. We won't see anything. So we have to literally stumble across something that we can use. The fact that we found any buildings is surprising. Uh, tempted on climbing all the way up there, but let's go ahead and head this general direction and we'll think about it as we get up the slope. Kind of eerie looking landscape with the moon out like this. It's pretty neat. third one nearby landing anywhere, is there? No? That really kind of bums me out that we didn't get a lander, you know, that actually had a person pop out. Okay, so we're going to head in those general directions, right? We're going to head towards those two mountains in the distance, so... Let's go ahead and head that way. Very odd um, landscape right here. Almost looks like I'm, like I'm missing something here. Interesting. Up we go. Hmm. Excuse you. Again, two guys, except they're headed that way. They should head left when they get down into the distance there. Don't want to focus too much on them because, see, they're heading left, like I said, and on an angle. Okay, so let's head towards that mountain, the rightmost mountain. Let's get up on top of that one and see what we can see. Maybe we'll get lucky and there's a landing pad over there. Trading, a trading post? Is that what we call it? I think we call it a trading post. Let's look at the back of our backpack. Looks like life support's bound down to about halfway. Hazard protection is dropping, of course. Alright, so of those two, we're going to head to that one. it out that way. Up of a little hill. I see nothing. Oh, what's that? I think we just found a crashed ship. Holy crap!
Holy mackerel. We have just ended this. Holy mackerel. 20 minutes into our third episode, I think we just found a crashed ship. It looks like a hauler, too. Yes, it is. C-Class hauler, and it's damaged. And it's not claimed, or else I wouldn't be able to see it. Holy mackerel. Don't die on the way there. That's all you have to hope for. Don't die. Life support. Let's get you up to snuff, too. Good, good, good. Yeah, buddy. Woohoo! All right. Uh, let's see what else they can give us. Actually, I don't think we really need anything. How's our inventory look right now? Let's get rid of you. We don't need you. Gathered all that stuff for nothing. What do we get? Doesn't look like we got anything out of it. This sometimes gives us a dihydrogen jelly. We, and you notice I left enough dihydrogen in my inventory to make another jelly. Okay. Really? I got one? Good are you. Alright. Well, let's claim it, shall we? Awesome. Claim ship. This, as they say, may be it. So, do we have enough to make? We have one dihydrogen. We can make a metal plate. That should take care of you. And not you. I'm not worried about you. I'm not worried about you. We got pure ferrite on us already. We already got that. So, the only thing we need is a hermetic seal. And we should be good. Yeah, we already got it. So guess what? Now, before I leave, the direction I said that we would find something, first of all, should be, and I was going to go up to this mountain, should be in this general direction, okay? So we're going to head there and see what that brings us. But we basically have finished the impossible challenge. Oh, sorry. I've got to do this. You know me. There we go. We're going to have to listen to the stupid buzzer here, so sorry about that. Let's take a look. And you know what? I think I might just turn on the HUD for the heck of it just so I can see if we can spot anything. So this general direction. We may drive we'll fly for a little bit and just see what we can see what we can see here. I don't think scanning's gonna find anything because if the HUD turned off, we won't find it. So let's slow down. Let's go ahead and turn the HUD back on. Because basically we have completed it. We have completed the challenge. We have won. That is it. We win. And it's, of course it's going to go through everything that I found along the way. Okay, so this general direction. It looks like we were headed south. Go figure, right? We were headed south the whole time. Let's see where our ship starter ship was. It was probably over this way. Um, let's... Yeah, our starter ship was out that way. It was to the north. So we were headed south the whole time. So we got... I think we were fortunate enough that we were doing it right. So south. Okay, we have a... Something over here. Probably just a little campsite or something like that. I don't see any ships flying around. Yeah. That's all it was. Oh, drop pod. Drop pod. Yep. Let's continue to head south and just take a look. Because I know you're probably just as curious as I am, and this would be a very short Mission Impossible episode. Scanner recharging. 
Another one over here. Uh, I doubt we would have found that. That looks like just a little bit of a campsite, and that's it. I would love to repair that scanner. I'm very sorry. That uh, alarm because of the shield being down. Uh, let's see. What's that? Another campsite? Yeah. Well, that was a location beacon, so to find something, which I doubt we would have found, so. See, we would have headed in this general direction anyway, so let's just make sure. I'm still curious as to whether we find a landing platform. I'm not hitting the right button. Because normally at some point when you get close enough, it should find it even if you're a minute out. Uh, looks like we found a building, which we probably would have run into eventually. Nope. But, no, no, that's not a trading unit. Okay. So we wouldn't have been able to sell anything. Okay, over here. Really curious. I just want to see if this is correct or not. Trading. That was a trading post. I might have found that, because if I was heading in the general direction of south, I might have found that. It's possible. There we go. And that is... Uh, just a building. That would have been a nice place to stop at and to save my game at. Uh, looks like we got another one right over here. The only thing that would be better is if I try to trading outpost though. Yeah, this is a building with a landing pad. So that would have been nice. Okay, well, you know, I am not seeing it. I, I could hope that there was a trading post someplace along this general direction. Uh, I've just been very fortunate to find buildings in that general path when I follow what the ships are doing, and I swear that that's what they're up to. So, but we're not seeing anything like that, and, you know, it could still be considered theory at this point. Another campsite, yeah, another. With a couple of small buildings, that would have been nice for, you know, chilling out. Where'd my south go? South is over this way. I started going the wrong direction. My bad. So, not bad though. This is the, I think, the third. Oh, check that out. See how it's gone north again? You know what that means? We're at the North Pole, aren't we? We're at the South Pole, I think. Yep, we're at the South Pole. That's why. That's why we're having trouble getting there. We would have to go north now in order to find what we're looking for. So, actually, we would have to head this direction to find what we're looking for. See, get the ship behind us. See that? Okay. So we'd have to head this direction. That is a freighter, and I don't think it's the same one, because it's on a cliff side. And I don't see holes in the ground, so... Pretty sure that would have been a nice find for me, and I probably could have picked up some more uh, junk along the way. Just kind of charging, I know, I know. Okay. Well, let's swing by the next building and park our butts down at this point. Because I think we're done. So this will be a short episode for you all. 30 minutes or so, not bad. Um, not quite as impossible as I thought it was going to be. I really thought this was going to go like 7 or 8 episodes by this point. And we were just going to be, uh, you know, 
digging deeper and deeper and deeper and never find anything. But there, there you have it. You have to use your line of sight in order to find anything, and it's just very important to keep looking around and see if you can find anything. Because that's literally the only way you're going to find something is because you don't have that HUD going on. That was pretty tough. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I am not finding any other buildings now for some stupid reason. i to let the scanner recharge. Let me try one more time here. Oh, 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 see? Archive. And I might have ended up at this archive at some point. Well, that's even better. Awesome. Let's see how much money I'll make on that stuff real quick before we go. And we can stop listening to that stupid thing chiming off at us. Let's see what we can do here. Let's sell all this stuff out here. Uh, quantum accelerators, exosuit upgrades. What else could we get rid of? The salvage data, 41 of that. Polyfiber, Gek Relic, of course. That's pretty much all the main stuff I had on my person. And it gave me almost 4 million, which isn't too shabby, but, you know, considering 24 million, and that's what, a B class? Yeah, B class. These are the cheap ones. See, 5 million would have got me this one. 5 million would have got me that. So I know that there's some cheap cheap fighters along here, so that's good. 27 for the A-class one over there. Not bad. Not bad. So I think we did pretty good. I think this was a successful, very successful run. And we should be very... We should be very happy. Journey Milestone. Yeah, what was that? 10,000 steps? Oh, Entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah. The money that we made. I think we can cancel that. I don't want it to pop any anymore. All right. So, wonderful, 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 wonderful. We uh, succeeded in uh, getting everything we needed to find that that crash ship. Unbelievable. Um, so, hey, you know, congratulations to us. I think we did a great job. And uh, I want to thank you all for watching. And uh, I'm probably going to do this again. I like the Impossible Challenge. It is really, really cool. Uh, I'll be doing more of these. I think my, from now on, my permadeath runs are going to be in that direction. We'll see what happens. Uh, maybe doing this live would be kind of a fun thing. But uh, by the time you see this episode, I'm pretty sure the expeditions will be out. And uh, you'll be seeing me a lot on those. So, all right, guys. Well, take care. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Really appreciate all your uh, input on the comment section. Never criticize kindness, folks, and always be truthful in everything you do, and especially to yourself. Thank you very much. Take care.